Okay, so my storage has showed up at the house and I am gonna pull everything outside of my garage and we're gonna shove it in this storage unit right here. And then we're going to seal in all of the floor and then repaint these lavender looking walls in this garage. <coughs> and we're gonna have some fun doing that. And it's, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna build some shelves like I did in my old garage. <coughs> Woo, sorry for the coughing here. I've also got my mosquito squad people out here making it so that my wife can actually stay on the outside and not get bit. All right, I'm excited. Time to get it going. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you something. She backed that thing up, literally stood on my mark and stepped three feet forward because I told her that's where I wanted it put. And damn it, it <laughs> right on the mark. <laughs> okay, so two days into this project, you know, I had to stop because I had work. Got the storage unit right there. And I've pulled everything. Check this out mostly out of the garage. I've cleaned the floor. I've scrubbed it. I had to put everything back in because it's, it's, it's dark out and I don't really have the sealant, but I wanted to repaint because look at this. You can't really see it, but that right there is a pale purple, pale pink. I, not, not for me, not for my garage. No, thank you. But when I was telling my wife that I was gonna repaint the garage, they were like, ooh, can we splatter paint? I was like, hmm, let me, let, me, let me do you one better there. So there's a little, little alcove. And so what I did is, you know, painted it all black. I took my wife for her birthday. I was gonna say 30th birthday, but uh-uh. So I took my wife for her birthday to this place out in Greensboro called the Mad Splatter. They're not paying me for this but it was super fun, she super loved it. And you got to pick three uh, pieces, three paint colors and just swoosh all over the, um, all, all over. I might actually, let me put a clip of it right here. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Over the whole thing, I guess. And she had a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, tie that bunny suit so you don't get it all over you. And she just had a ball, so. I went ahead and painted this little three-walled section of my garage black. Everybody wears some really old clothes, me, Heather, and Hadley. We're going to come in here, and we are just going to decorate this. Here's the thing. We've got this lovely three black walls, and... Like we said, uh, we are going to go ahead and do our own little tiny splatter paint area and have some fun with it. So if you want to, you can use this. What is this? It's like a gun, so you can shh, shh, shh. Oh, yeah! So what you do is you catch here, flip it on right there. That way, you can just... Like that. Well, yeah, you have to like. Oh. Yeah. You want to use the gun, Hadley? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's cool. I was like, is that too grim? Nah. What's <laughs> Alex?
So now that our splattering is completed, I'm going to try my best to remove some of this painter's tape that I put up there and see what comes off with it. Um, paint's pretty much dried. It may peel up a whole bunch of regular paint. I just don't know, but we're going to we're going to give it one heck of a go. I'm going to try that. Oh, okay. Nice! I like the way it came out. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching us decorate a piece of the garage. I had fun. I know the girls had fun. I hope this gave you a bit of inspiration about what you can do with a little section of, you know, garage that may or may not be used the most. So some of this is going to get covered up by my you know, refrigerator and stuff, but it's still going to look so awesome. And it's something we got to do together. And I'm so excited. And now, I gotta prep and paint the rest of the walls in the garage. Except for maybe above the garage door. I don't know about, yeah, I'll probably get that too. Oh well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Come back again. 
give me a thumbs up if you thought this was cool. we'll catch you on the next one.